The climate emergency is the biggest environmental crisis of our times. It threatens the future of our planet and we're the last generation that can do something about it. If action is not taken, it will take the planet into an unprecedented climate future if we compare it to what has happened during all of human evolutionary history. The UK government set a challenging target of reaching net zero by 2050, and that means all of us need to play a part. I think the transmission business has a huge part to play in delivering the UK's net zero goal. Effectively, we're the motorway of the electricity network, transporting power from generation to towns, cities and villages, and ultimately final customers. We've got a very ambitious plan for the T2 period. It's a five-year period, five years, five clear goals. Firstly, we will transport the renewable electricity that powers 10 million homes. Secondly, we will provide 100% network reliability for homes and businesses. We will deliver every connection on time and we will achieve a one-third reduction in our own greenhouse gas emissions. We intend to make 100 million pounds of efficiency savings through innovation. These are very ambitious goals, but we're absolutely committed to delivering them in every part of our business. During this current price control period, the volume of renewable generation that's connected to our network has increased from 4 gigawatts to 8 gigawatts. As we look to the future, we use scenarios to help us as a planning tool. The range of scenarios that we've modelled includes the proactive decarbonisation scenario, which is consistent with the 1.5 degree warming outcome. This would result in nearly 16 gigawatts of renewable generation connected to our system. However, we've based our business plan on this certain scenario, the one where we think we have confidence that these things are actually going to happen. We believe the outcome will be somewhere between these two scenarios. However, this approach allows the network to grow and customers not to have to pay for things that might not happen. Given the strong renewables resources that there are in the north of Scotland, it's difficult to see any other scenario than significant and ongoing growth in renewables generation. And that's why I think the transmission business has taken a sensible approach about looking what's absolutely certain and then making sure it can respond to the growth in different areas. SSEN transmission have got to set the highest level of ambition for their stakeholder engagement strategy as they go into T2. Being an effective monopoly in Scotland with a wide, wide range of stakeholders, they have to really show that they're delivering in the highest public interest. We've done a huge amount of stakeholder engagement in building this business plan. We want to continue that now as well, and so we're really looking to embed a culture of engagement across our business by building new processes and procedures and rolling out staff training as well to really put customers and stakeholders at the centre of what we do. We've set a goal of delivering all connections on time. That's really super important for our generation customers, whether they are small communities or large offshore wind farms. And to do that, we're using new products and services that give them a more tailored approach to where and when they can get connected. If you consider what customers want from a utility business, they want a safe and reliable service at a price they can afford and they want increasingly the company to be making sustainable choices with regard to the interventions that it makes in, in the asset stock. Safe and secure network operations is really important. We want to make sure we have a safe network where homes and businesses in our operating area never experience a power cut due to a fault on the transmission network. So replacing lines and infrastructure is a key part of our Rio T2 plans, but it's not just about replacing like for like, it's about introducing new technologies, about digitising the network, give us more information in real time, and also give us things like fault trends, uh, usage trends, and we can make our investment decisions based on, on excellent data. Efficiency is at the heart of everything we do. For the Rio T2 plan, we're going to be making massive investments within our network. These investments could be many hundreds of millions of pounds. As we're funded by built pairs, we've got a duty of care to ensure that every pound spent is creating maximum value for consumers and our customers, and ensure that when we are making these investment decisions, we are making them right and at the right time. A strong and competitive supply chain is essential for everything that we do. For the Rio T2 plan, we really couldn't deliver this business plan without them. 
To help this, we are looking to maximise our opportunity within the supply chain to create further value and provide further savings to our customers. The real T2 business plan is vitally important for us, but it's a very ambitious plan. But from my point of view, for what I'm doing, it will be business as usual, meeting deadlines for customers, meeting deadlines for connections, and doing everything on time and on budget. In Transmission, we've set ourselves an ambitious goal to set a science-based target to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions in line with the one and a half degree warming scenario recommended by Paris. The most obvious impact of transmission infrastructure on the environment is visually. However, a much broader impact on the environment than just that, be it oil, noise, or even the access tracks that we have to build to get to our infrastructure. So we've taken a holistic view to the environment in our Rio T2 business plan, and I'm particularly excited about our net gain target for biodiversity. In simple terms, this means that when we go into an environment, we're going to leave it in a better condition than when we first arrived. Rising energy costs are a real concern, and although the transmission component of the bill is relatively small, we think the, the networks have to be developed in a way which is a, as efficient as possible, um, and that everything that's put in the plan is robustly tested with consumers. This is a hugely ambitious plan. Five years, five clear goals. £2.2 billion pounds of investment delivered for around £7 a year per customer. That's less than 1% of an average domestic energy bill. We believe that this plan meets the expectations of our stakeholders and delivers value for money for customers, but we really want to hear your views. The full draft plan and details of how you can feed into our consultation are available on our website.